goes unredeemed. That's because Americans receive gift cards to stores they don't really care for or restaurant chains that just aren't in that area. There are websites out there, though, banking on the fact that you might want cash for your unused, unwanted gift cards. Pick a card, any gift card. These plastic forms of cash to our favorite stores and restaurants are being used with less frequency these days. However, a demographic that always indulges college students. We always buy the Barnes & Noble gift cards for books, and the only reason is, I guess, to get the fuel perks. We get them at Giant Eagle. Huh? But definitely Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. I think any college student loves Starbucks. As much as these Duquesne marketing students love their caffeine jolt, they love cold hard cash. Many gift card websites are now offering cash for unwanted and unused gift cards. Um, if it was a gift card I wouldn't use, I'd definitely be interested in that, but most of them, like Macy's, I would use. So only if it was a random store that I wouldn't go to. I don't know, I kind of like cash, so yeah, I probably would sell them. Most likely. <laughs> websites like giftcardbuyback.com, leverageacard.com, and swapping websites will buy your unwanted gift cards for slightly lower than what it's actually worth. For example, a $50 card to P.F. Chang's will net you $37.50 in cash. But Duquesne marketing professor Dr. Audrey Gusky like loves this idea. Across. We're a cash-strapped society now, and so as a result, people would have preferred to get the money and not the gift card. So I think people are doing everything they can to swap them or exchange them or get rid of them. These websites also offer consumers great opportunities to buy gift cards at discounted rates. There are over 100 stores and restaurants from which to choose. You can buy a Lowe's gift card, for example, with a value of roughly $88 for just 82 bucks. There's great savings as a buyer because a lot of times it's between 10 and 20 percent discounted. So you lose a few dollars selling your unwanted, unused cards. But look at it this way. You wouldn't let 50 bucks sit in a drawer. I've never just really thought about cashing them in. I always just, I'll like re-gift them. <laughs> just between you and me, Carly, and now all of you. All right, so while these websites are out there, they're willing to take these gift cards off your hands. You definitely want to make sure these websites that you use are legitimate websites. The Better Business Bureau did give its stamp of approval to the giftcardbuyback.com. You can find out more information on that one and the other websites at kdk.com slash consumer.